Hi, in this video I'll be discussing various analgesics that can be prescribed in pregnancy and lactation. So I'll be following the basic format which I have used for antibiotics in pregnancy video. So we have various analgesics in this column. We have various non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and also various narcotic analgesics. So first let's see what are all the FDA categories these drugs belong to. So acetaminophen or paracetamol belongs to FDA category B whereas aspirin belongs to FDA category C or D and ibuprofen and other NSAIDs belong to FDA category B or D and codeine and hydrocodone narcotic analgesics belong to FDA category C or D. Now, based on this FDA category, we can assume whether they can be prescribed in pregnancy or not. So, coming to paracetamol, so it is the only analgesic that can be prescribed safely in pregnancy as well as in nursing. But care should be taken not to exceed the maximum dose of paracetamol as there can be hepatotoxicity. So, that's the only concern. Otherwise, we can go ahead and prescribe paracetamol in case of pregnancy and in nursing and then moving on to aspirin as it belongs to FDA category C or D it is usually not prescribed in pregnancy as well as in nursing the reason is I mentioned two categories here as it's given in literature it's considered to be a category D in third trimester third trimester of pregnancy it's because when it is administered in third trimester of pregnancy when, I, when we get aspirin to the patient in third trimester there can be postpartum bleeding and other related complications and it is known to alter maternal as well as fetal hemostasis so that's the reason why it's contraindicated in pregnancy and also in nursing and then moving on to ibuprofen ibuprofen and other NSAIDs are contraindicated in pregnancy and in nursing women. However, certain manufacturers have no information regarding their safety in nursing women. So that is questionable. So it's better to avoid using this drug for nursing women. However, in case of pregnancy, it is usually contraindicated because Ibuprofen and other NSAIDs are known to cause several teratogenic effects on the fetus such as premature closure of patent ductus arteriosus leading to persistent pulmonary hypertension or there can be fetal nephrotoxicity or there can be periventricular hemorrhage and also oligohydramnios that is decreased amniotic fluid. So various teratogenic effects are associated with ibuprofen that's the reason why it's contraindicated in pregnancy however if we feel that the benefits will outweigh risk then in that case we can administer ibuprofen in second trimester only that too for a duration of 24 to 72 hours so that's the only indication in pregnancy now moving on to narcotic analgesics that is codeine so as it belongs to FDA category C or D, it is contraindicated in pregnancy as well as in nursing. The reason is again the same. Codeine is the only narcotic analgesic that is associated with definitive fetal risk such as respiratory malformations or neonatal respiratory depression. Because of these teratogenic effects, it is absolutely contraindicated in pregnancy as well as in nursing. However, the problem with codeine in nursing is there are certain women who rapidly metabolize codeine and form morphine as a byproduct of metabolism of codeine so this morphine gets diffused passively into human milk and can be taken up by the baby during breastfeeding so in that process babies are very much sensitive to even minute doses of morphine so there can be morphine overdose in the child and the symptoms for morphine overdose in child includes limpness 
increased sleepiness or drowsiness or difficulty in breathing so these are signs of morphine overdose in a child so it is better to avoid codeine or better to find an alternative drug to codeine in case of nursing mothers and now moving on to hydrocodone even that belongs to category C or D so it is not indicated in pregnancy as well as in nursing the reason is more or less the same because of its teratogenic effect leading to neonatal respiratory depression and also the effect is similar to that of codeine because of ultra rapid metabolism present in certain women due to alterations in genes leading to formation of an altered cytochrome p450 enzyme within liver thereby leading to fast metabolism of codeine to morphine leading to morphine overdose in the child so these are some of the analgesics in pregnancy and nursing and to summarize acetaminophen or paracetamol is the only known analgesic that is considered to be relatively safe in pregnancy as well as in nursing so other drugs are associated with various teratogenic effects so accordingly we should prescribe these drugs during pregnancy and nursing and if in case we have any concern regarding the usage of these analgesics in pregnant women it's always advisable to refer to the patient's obstetrician and take their opinion and proceed accordingly so this is for the benefit of the patient ultimately so this is in brief the various analgesics in pregnancy and in lactation thank you